Welcome to episode 2 of the Hunter x Remote series where we're playing as Hunter x Hunter's main character Gon along with some random villagers that had completely random traits and stats. Gon's village was near a lake and I thought a cool challenge would be to only be able to build on the lake. It does make things a lot harder though as building on the lake requires a ton of wood. At the end of last episode we had a heat wave and it's still going on. It's only 92 degrees out right now because it's really early in the morning. But it got up to I believe it was like 120 degrees and people were getting heat stroke so we had a really rush to get this room set up and we just moved everyone inside this room and inside this room right now it's hovering around a cool 62 63 degrees fahrenheit outdoors it is heating up quite quickly actually 94 now now it's 95 and as the day progresses it's only going to get hotter which is okay if people get too hot we'll just send them in this room and they'll cool off you would think they could just take a dip in the water but no that does not cool their temperature unfortunately gon does have a decent amount of animal skill he's got 14 and over here there's a injured timber wolf that did take on a deer I think is why it's injured and we're gonna have Gon try to tame it. These timber wolves can revenge and there's a 10% chance that it will attack Gon when he does try to tame it. And yep there it goes. We gave Gon a wooden club and now it's time to beat this thing down. And there's the deer actually that the timber wolf did take on. It did finally tag Gon and it actually went into paint shock. We didn't kill it. Since we're not really low on food right now and Gon can actually fish for food, we'll save this timber wolf and we won't kill it. And here's the buck that the timber wolf killed. Chili's butchering it and yeah he's gonna turn it into food. And meanwhile we're gonna have Anna over here tend the timber wolf and actually that's gonna help her medical skill too. She's got 10 medical with a minor passion for it. And oh we can actually name our fat Faction. Gon's original home is called Whale Island and we're gonna have our faction name be the Islanders, I guess the inhabitants of Whale Island. But yeah, we got Anna over here tending up the Timberwolf's injuries and each time she does bandage it up, she's gaining medical skills. She just got I think 150 for doing that. Uh, she does have a minor passion for it and she's too smart so she gets extra XP. Gon also is injured off of that and we should probably have Anna tend up his injuries as well. And we should probably prioritize that before the Timberwolf as the Timberwolf isn't even bleeding. It did end up scratching Gon though a little bit. He got a scratch on his head and on his jaw. It didn't end up doing too much damage to Gon though as he is tough. He does take 50% less damage. And the Timberwolf did end up getting up. Is it gonna just leave or what's gonna happen with that? Is it just gonna hang out? It's a wild Timberwolf just hanging out I guess inside of our house area. We'll just hold that door open and yeah I think it's gonna leave. And there it goes. We should eventually be able to tame it, I think. And actually, yeah, let's have Gon wake up and try to tame it again. Hopefully it doesn't revenge this time. There's a 14% chance, I think, that he does tame it. Or at least that's what it was last time. And a 10% chance that he does revenge. So we got a bit unlucky there. And tame failed, 14% chance. Gon's animal skill is going up, though, a bit as he does try to tame. I extended the dock out a bit, and we are kind of low on wood. So we're going to start making this wooden stone cutter table, which is going to allow us to use other materials instead of wood for building. With this wooden stone cutter table, we're going to make sand stone blocks as they are the quickest to build with and all bridges have the same amount of HP 100 even if we made it out of like plasteel. Temp number four or is this five? and tame failed again. To level up Gon's animal skill a bit more and since the rice we planted a while ago is actually ready to harvest and we've been harvesting it, we're gonna have Gon try to tame some other animals like there's four donkeys on our island area and these donkeys should be way easier to tame. I believe they have a handling skill requirement of zero and yeah 89% chance to tame a donkey with Gon's 14 animal skill so yeah donkeys are really easy to tame. For sure we're gonna be able to tame these four donkeys and that's gonna be great because we can use those to transport trade goods and we can actually ride them around Around the island. Gone tamed the second one, now he's going for the third, which should be tamed and so should the fourth. Oh, okay we're getting raided. Wait, what? This guy has a freaking machine pistol? Okay, that's not good. I was just about to make everyone clubs, but for now this wood will have to do, which actually isn't that bad. You can equip wood and it actually does pretty decent DPS. A little bit less than clubs, but yeah it's gonna have to do for now. We did only end up taming two donkeys and two alpacas and we're sending our donkeys and alpacas into the raiders. There's one to the north and two to the south. We're gonna try to zerg down this guy at the north really quick and we're gonna have our donkey lead I guess and a buck self tamed. Okay we can actually use that to help us out here. The donkeys aren't really yeah we're not gonna have the donkeys to help us with this guy. We're just gonna have everyone zerg him down and we're doing some damage to him. Hopefully we don't uh, we killed him that's unfortunate because he did have some gear. Now the gear is all tainted so no one's gonna want to it. We will strip him though and yeah people do not like seeing dead bodies. We need everyone out of there besides Gon. We're gonna have Gon equip his gladius and all of his gear and he's not gonna like this for now. It's gonna really hurt his mood wearing tainted gear. But yeah tainted pants plus two negative 11 mood for Gon. 
on. He really does not like wearing that tainted gear. And here we go. They are beginning their assault. Now we're sending our animals over here to this zone. We can't have our animals actually attack. We haven't trained them up yet, but we can send our animals into specific zones and we can only allow them to go to those zones. So we're like, we're having our two donkeys and our two alpacas go to this zone over here. And that should distract the raiders. Yes, yeah, Sky is actually heading over here and hopefully Sky is going to start shooting at our animals and not our people. And um, this is going to allow our people to get kind of close, close the gap. And yeah, Sky's trying to tag our alpaca and Risa is actually meleeing our donkey. Sky's going for our alpacas that are crossing the river and our buck and he tagged our alpaca and now Sky is turning on Cheezus. He tagged Cheezus, but Chili, our paladin, actually has heal now and we have it on auto cast. Apparently you can auto cast abilities and that was an instant heal on Cheezus. It can cure up to three wounds and I guess that completely healed up Cheezus and now Gone is in melee range of Sky. Hopefully we just knock this guy out and don't kill him. That'd be ideal. Gone actually got tagged a little bit. This guy is in melee, so he's only able to use his gun in melee. And okay, unfortunately we did kill Sky. But we now have this machine pistol, which is poor quality. No one really has all that good of shooting. Chili actually is our best with three shooting, so we'll give him the machine pistol. And we'll give Dorian over his bow that he was using. No one else really got tagged too hard. We'll have Chili heal up red first, big red. And I think Chili should be able to finish off Risa down here, who is currently killing our buck. And actually, she's doing a good amount of damage to our buck. Hopefully our buck doesn't get killed here. If it does, then it's not the end of the world. We can always just... Oh, okay, the buck actually killed Risa, unfortunately. We'll have Chili rescue our donkey, which is currently really bruised up, but it's not actually bleeding. And with that, we'll just have everyone head back to base. And ooh, Gon finally tamed a Timberwolf, which is still injured, by the way, from its fight with the deer and its fight with Gon. But yeah, now we have a guard dog who we do need to train up. We need, need to train it to be able to guard, and we need to train it to be able to attack. And we can train it to haul stuff around camp, too. The only problem with Timberwolves is they are very wild. They have 85% wildness, so... So yeah, it's going to be kind of hard, I think, to tame this thing up. In the northeast corner of our map, we do have a herd of boomalopes, and these are actually pretty useful to tame. 37% chance he got the first tame. Not only can we breed these boomalopes, and when we kill them, we can get a lot of meat from them. If we do just keep them around, over time we can milk them, even the males, for chem fuel, and we can use that later on, or we can sell it off to nearby colonies. On day 8, it looks like we finally have our first quest, the Anxious Praetor. Maria Elkis is calling from nearby. She's being followed by an angry pug. She says she only wanted to see the landscape on a quick walk and never expected such a deadly threat. We have to accept this quest with someone and that person is going to start getting titles. Now the person we're going to choose is Anna and the reason why is as Anna gains more titles she starts not being able to do a lot of stuff. She can still be our doctor though up until she gets the title of Countess which is the highest title. Elkes showed up and she has this ability blinding pulse that we're going to use on this pug and now the pug is blinded so I don't think it can hit Elkes as easy and oh, okay apparently Elkes is incapable of violence. So we cannot have Elkis 1v1 this pug. We'll have gone to beat it down and hopefully we don't kill it. It's stun it, but yeah, I would actually like to tame this pug. Yeah, we knocked it out. Nice. We're having Anna bandage up the pug and we're hopefully going to be able to save it and tame it. And Elkis' shovel did arrive. We loaded her up and we're going to send her off. And Anna gained the title of Yu Men and now has this cyclic amplifier that she can use. Oh, and a boomalope is actually revenging. There's only a 2% chance of that happening. That's really unlucky. It's not really a big deal though. We can kill it. We're going to drag it to the water and we're going to try to kill it in the water because it will explode. And Gagan actually dropped his melee weapon earlier because I had him beat down the pug. I didn't want to stab the pug with a gladius I think it was that he was using. So he's now just using a wooden piece of wood actually and he stunned the boomalope. And he ended up knocking the boomalope out. We don't actually have to kill it. I think we'll have Gon rescue it because it is a female. And actually, let's heal up Gon first. And there we go. He's actually fully healed. That heal ability is really nice. It's going to be really good later on. But after doing the quest and learning this psychic amplifier, Anna now has this ability Burden, which is a completely random ability. And this slows a target for a short time. This does cost 8 psychic entropy, which means that Anna can cast it 3 times before she's full on psychic entropy, pretty much. We don't want to go over 30, and I don't know if we want to even get near 30, because it can have long-term consequences if we do go over 30. But yeah, she'll actually be somewhat useful in combat now, whereas before she could do absolutely nothing in combat. She is completely incapable of violence. And okay, that's actually another really lucky event that just happened. Chili and Anna are now getting married. Being that they're married, they're going to get another huge moodlet buff pretty soon. They're going to have a marriage ceremony. It's just going to be random when it happens, I think. Oh no. 
muscle parasites. Hands down, that's one of the most annoying diseases and three people got them, like what? And apparently our Timberwolf killed a pug. We were not able to tame the pug, unfortunately. So yeah, things are kind of taking a turn for the worst here. They're all gonna have serious pain for a negative 10 mood as long as these muscle parasites are around. They also lower manipulation by 30%, which is pretty much affects everything they do. They're just gonna do it 30% slower. They move 30% slower and their rest fall rate increased by 100%. So they're gonna get tired double as quick. We do some heal route around the island and okay, apparently gone botched that one or it wasn't fully grown. It was like 91% grown. Maybe that's why he botched it. Either way though, we will use the heal route to tend the muscle parasites. And I got a 73% tend on that, which actually isn't that bad. You can tend it every two days. And I believe the tend quality needs to go up to 300% and they will be completely cured of the muscle parasites. We're completely out of food now. And unfortunately we're gonna slaughter this buck. We would go and kill some animals, but this is kind of an emergency as yeah, we are very low on food. And like Dorian's over here eating rice and our donkeys are eating our rice. I wonder if our animals have been eating our rice and that's why we're completely out of food. We're gonna put an area over here to the left of the base and we're gonna allow them only to graze in this area. And we're not gonna allow them around the base. Cause yeah, these donkeys can just eat like the grass off the ground. They don't have to eat our actual rice. And Jesus now got food poisoning, which that's really unlucky as well. We are kind of cooking in a dirty area. We don't have a kitchen yet, so it's bound to happen, but still. I believe the chance of that has gotta be only like one or 2%. Either way though, he's got food poisoning and muscle parasites. The dude is gonna be completely out of it and we're not gonna be getting any mining done for some time, which is not that big of a deal actually. We've got all the mining done that we need for now. Oh, and Big Red got food poisoning right afterwards. Luckily, he's just our builder and we don't really need to build anything right now. Wait, Gone got food, three people just got food poisoning. Like what's going on here? What do you mean dirty cooking area? Like the cooking area has not changed since and I got food poisoning too. Like what? Was every one of the four simple meals poisoned? Maybe that was the case. Cause like you can cook four simple meals at a time and maybe all those four simple meals were poisoned. That's gotta be it. Like there's no way it was like 1% chance hit four times in a row. I will say it is kind of odd that Chili got muscle parasites and all of a sudden people started getting food poisoning. And I think the reason why is muscle parasites lowers a person's manipulation. And yeah, it lowers Chili's cooking speed, but he only has a 0.1% chance of food poisoning. So it must've just been the area. It has absolutely nothing to do with is lower manipulation, the chance of getting food poisoning. And now we have, I think our first mental breakdown, Anna is now on an insulting spree. I thought Anna was never gonna have a mental breakdown cause she's always got some loving. She's got the human title as well for eight more mood, pitying my fiance for eight more mood. But yeah, there's just been too many things happening. Like she's now in intense pain cause that food poisoning and she's also ravenously hungry. So yeah, that was too much. And now she's insulting people, which is also lowering their mood. Now Jesus has lower five. Now Jesus is insulted times two for negative 10 mood and apparently was rejected by Anna. I don't know why he's trying to make a move on a married woman. Well, she's not married yet, but she's about to be. And now Anna is insulting gone. Now gone is negative 10 mood for being insulted times two. So yeah, everything is kind of just falling apart at this point. We're gonna start having a bunch of people having mental breakdowns soon, I think. Insulted times three for Jesus. That's great. Are you done, Anna? Like, I don't think people are supposed to insult for this long. I think they're only supposed to toss out a few insults and then they're supposed to be good, but maybe not. Anna's gonna keep going, I guess. We're gonna have Jesus run away. And she's still going. I don't know what exactly is going on here. Insulted times five for Jesus, negative 20 mood, and times three for gone. And now she's insulting Chili. Is this bugged or something? Like, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Is she just gonna stack everyone up to insulted times five? Is that what her goal is right now? Okay, she's finally done. And now she's in catharsis, so she's not gonna have a breakdown. But literally everyone else probably will. Like Dorian, well, he's been in 0% mood for quite some time. The dude is just completely out of it. And okay, yeah, Dorian had a mental breakdown finally. He's gonna slaughter our alpaca, I guess. Which I'm actually okay with him slaughtering a few of our animals, just not our Timberwolf. Big Red has a 98% chance to arrest Dorian, whereas Gone only has a 40% chance. I have no idea why that is. I don't understand how that works exactly. Oh, okay, and our all female alpaca is just absolutely getting destroyed. We're not gonna be able to get over there in time. Yep, RIP the female alpaca. He's now gonna slaughter our other female alpaca. Hopefully not, hopefully we can get over there in time. Or wait, is he done? Maybe he's done. And okay, this is not good. So Dorian's right here. We send the Timberwolf and the Boomalope up here to the top right. He's heading towards them. And yep, he's going for the Boomalope. What an idiot. Why would you want to slaughter the Boomalope? We're going to have Big Red arrest him. And 
Okay, wait. Now he's going for the timber wolf. Now we're gonna. I think we're gonna have to fully rest him. Maybe Dorian is no longer slaughtering animals. Okay, cool. Phew, our timber wolf did not get killed there. Okay, Jesus is on a tantrum now. So he's gonna start breaking things. He's breaking our steel urn. That's not very nice of him. Okay, you can hit the wall. That's fine. I don't care about the wooden walls. And now cheese is done. Actually, that wasn't that bad. He only ended up destroying a couple urns, and Big Red is gonna repair the walls and stuff. And Wild Woman wanders in. You can attempt to tame or arrest her. So Jesus is now in Catharsis. He's gonna be good. Anna's in Catharsis. She's gonna be good for three days. And so is Dorian. Now Dorian is still not even gonna be good. He might have another mental breakdown because his mood's only going up to 28% around, around 27. And yeah, he could still have a major breakdown just due to the fact that he's got all these negative mood lids. He was also rejected by Anna. Why are all these people trying to make a move on Anna? Like, I guess she's the only girl. Although we do now have a wild woman over here candace who actually has decent stats she's artistic we have no one that's good at artistic she's magically gifted tough which tough is not going to matter at all because she's got zero shooting in melee and she's psychically dull so she does not get affected by psychic events that much since gone has decent animals he's up to 15 animals now we're gonna have him come over here and try to tame her and he's giving her the rice is that gonna be enough she did join us awesome unfortunately she is incapable of dumb labor so she cannot haul or clean and yeah again she cannot do any violence but actually i didn't even notice this but she is also good at intellectual ten and intellectual with a minor passion for it we could build her a research bench and research pretty much double as quick because yeah dorian well dorian's actually not 13 intellectual he's been doing some work he ended up researching water mill generator and also did tree sowing so we can now sow trees oh what the <laughs> Why are we getting a mechanoid cluster, dude? New expansion introduced these, and I really don't know how we're supposed to deal with it, although it is dormant. We just gotta make sure people stay away from this proximity activator, and it will not activate. If we do end up waking it though, this is what we got to look forward to. The auto charge trait has this much range, and there's no way we're gonna get even close to that to take it out. The way we'll deal with this is we'll just create an area that's not in the range of these turrets. Well, actually, the turrets don't even matter. It's just the proximity activator that we have to stay away from, because the turrets shouldn't wake up and we'll only allow our colonists to go in this area they will not be allowed to go anywhere near this cluster and I actually have a really good idea so I put an area over here and I'm sending one of our boom loops over here our male and he's going to enter this proximity activator area which should it's not awakening them apparently we need to send a person over here and actually what we will do is we'll send gone over here and we can get cover behind okay that it's not activating there we go it activated and yeah the boomalope is now moving towards this charge turret oh no it didn't die wait it's gonna die in three hours though when the boomalope dies it should blow up and it will blow up this unstable power cell which makes a huge explosion when damaged and that actually might blow up all these other turrets in five four three two one boom and the power cell did not blow up. That was a complete fail. I don't know how the Boomalope's explosion did not damage anything. And it looks like we're getting raided again. This one actually isn't that bad though. They have a smoke launcher, which apparently launches a shell that will upon impact release a cloud of smoke, obscuring incoming shots and preventing turrets from locking on. That could actually be useful for us if we want to take out that mechanoid cluster. Purr also has some EMP grenades, which also is really useful against mechanoids. And I think the turrets as well. They don't do any damage to humans though. So Purr is going to be throwing EMP grenades at us. Those are going to do nothing. Boost can be launching smoke at us, which again is going to do nothing. Then we just got Kate, Effa, and Ponce with some clubs, and Effa has a gladius. But yeah, we're gonna send everyone out, and we're gonna bring the timber wolf along with us. We don't want to bring in our animals, though. We want them all to stay alive. And yeah, Gon started attacking Effa, and oh crap, the timber wolf just got hit by Ponce. I didn't mean to send it out that far. Hopefully, it won't die. And Boost now shooting smoke at us, which did no damage. We're gonna have everyone just zerg down Kate. And we do have someone that's using a gun. I forgot to have them be in long range. We actually have two people with range. Dorian and Shelly have range. We're gonna have them just shoot at Booth. And the Timberwolf did go down. It did not get killed though, so that's great. And actually, these guys should run, possibly, if they can. And Purr, where is Purr going? Purr is going for our wooden butcher table. Yeah, you're not gonna get our wooden butcher table, Purr. Meanwhile, Chili is actually getting taken out by Ponce. Oh no. Okay, wait, and they're fleeing now, because I think we took out... I don't know, but Ponce, I thought you were supposed to flee. There you go. 
Oh, we actually ended up knocking out Purr, who is gonna bleed out in 12 hours. But wow, Purr is really good at a lot of st Holy crap, Purr is amazing. Too smart, so learns way quicker. Does have a higher mental break threshold though, but is also a quick sleeper, so he doesn't need to sleep as much. He's pretty, so people will like him more, and he has a burning passion for intellectual. So this combined with Too Smart is gonna make it so he's gonna learn intellectual 225% quicker. On top of that, he's also potentially a decent medic, and he's got 10 in craft. 11 construction. This guy is so good. We're definitely gonna want to capture this guy and make him join us for sure. Purr does have 32 resist, which is quite a lot, and so it's gonna take quite some time for Anna to lower that. And in the meantime, we're gonna have to feed him, and oh no, Anna got food poisoning. Okay, we gotta just destroy all these meals. We're gonna haul them down here to the animal zone, and I think the animals might actually eat them, and they might get food poisoning. And yeah, we'll just delete this zone, and we'll disallow people from accessing these meals, so people will not access them. And yep, Dorian is now on insulting spree. Um, uh, that's kind of annoying. We'll just have Anna try to run. Well, Anna can't even run because, yeah, Anna's just going to take the insults. She's way too slow. She's got food poisoning right now. She's just taking those insults right to the face. Insulted times four already? Did they buff this? I don't remember insults stacking up to five this quickly. Wait, did she just get another one? Insulted times six? Can we just not allow people to use this door for now? No, he's going to go in the door, even if we disallow it. The thing is, she can't even run either. Wait, he's actually blocking the door. And our prisoner's escaping. Unfortunately, Big Red cannot capture Per. 100% chance, actually, for Candace to arrest him. Oh, Purr is berserk. Purr is gonna walk over here and start beating down Dorian, who needs a beatdown. He's insulted her times nine? <laughs> what? I've never seen this before. Negative 31 mood for two days. Anna's just face taking Dorian and Purr is just attacking him in the back. Which, that's great. I'm actually really happy that Purr's doing that. We should have Gon actually come over here and just try to beat down Purr. I don't know about with the Gladius though. Let's have him do it with his fists. Yeah, okay, he knocked him out. Oh, we can actually capture him. He shouldn't run. The reason why he was able to run, I think, I had the door on not allowed to be able to be used. Gon is now in a sadistic rage. He is going to vent his anger on the prisoners. Wait, he already did vent his anger, I guess. He just knocked out Purr, who's now in pain shock. I think he's done now, though, because Purr's knocked out, so I don't think he's going to vent it anymore rage. Dorian, can you just be done, dude? Oh, wait, Anna got out somehow. I don't know how. And yeah, Gon actually snapped out of it. That was a really easy breakdown for Gon. And he's going to be in catharsis now. His mood's going way up. Dorian is, he's insulting Big Red now. And Purr is escaping. Wait, why is Purr escaping? Oh, I had the door held open. The door should be closed. And Candace, for some reason, has a 100% chance to capture, which means that she's not going to have to fight if they do resist. And yeah, the door's finally closed. Okay, that was just such a stupid thing. Dorian, st I don't know what's going on here. Like, I don't know why he's still insulting. Dorian couldn't reach Big Red, so he's deciding to redirect direct his anger at Jesus. Okay, well Jesus can actually run. No, Jesus actually can't run. He's got muscle parasites. Although so does Dorian. So he might be able to outrun Dorian. And I've never seen insulting spree last this long. Or the way I usually deal with it is, okay, yeah, there we go. Dorian has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. He's got catharsis times too. <laughs> And he's, he's got 70 bonus mood, but he's still staying at 0% mood. He could have another mental breakdown. He has all these negative mood lists, exhausted, negative 18, which actually that will cure itself. He's also really hungry too, so he just has to eat and sleep and he should be fine. But yeah, the way I usually deal with insulting sprees, I'll have whoever's being insulted just run around and kite. But I couldn't do that with Anna because at the time she was way too slow. I think she had food poisoning or something. So I was just really unlucky, I guess. So yeah, this episode was kind of a mess. Towards the end, we didn't really get anything done. We still do have that amazing colonist that is eventually going to join us and we do have to deal with that mechanoid cluster. We'll be doing all that as well as expanding the base in the next episode. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you then.